Mmm, crispy. Would you go to leave us and get a real job? This is the third time this week. Good night, Mary. Good night. Mary? Hi. What are you doing here? I'm dropping off the kids. Oh my god! Are these your kids? <laughs> They're not my kids. I'm their nanny. Oh, how cute. God, what a small world! Ah! <laughs> oh, this isn't my house. This is my sister's. I'm just here visiting my niece and nephew. Practicing. Can you believe it? got married last year in Hawaii. Ah! <laughs> I was like one of the last ones left. I felt like such a spinster. <laughs> Are you married? No. My mom, she told me what happened to your grandmother. So sad. Thanks. What time should I pick them up? Oh God, I am the wrong person to ask because I am off to the spa. But Josephine will be here. She's watching the kids, so I'm sure she doesn't. Yeah, let me walk you out. You look great. Oh, yeah. Huh? No. Okay. Have you ever seen a white rabbit jump out of a top hat? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it seems like you guys are a little more advanced crowd, which is fine. Totally cool with that. So it looks like Christmas is going to come a little early this year. What does that even mean? Can you make Darth Vader appear out of your top hat? No, we want Anakin. Anakin! Anakin! Okay, okay, chill out, chill out. I'm better with the younger demographic. My boss, he knows this. He's, he, he told me this was a four-year-old's party. I don't think he had anyone else. You friends with the family? They work here. Or like a nanny? How long? Too long. You want some? No. After working with that kid, you're crazy not to. Stick in the mud, Mary Poppins. Second thoughts? I won't tell. pull a rabbit out of a hat? It's a stuffed animal. Three and four year olds don't know the difference. How long have you been doing this? What, making a fool out of myself? Too long. How long have you hated your life? Uh, who says I hate it? Look at you. Look at you. Wow. <laughs> All right. Like, you look ridiculous. Yeah, well, you look angry. Mm -hmm. I'd rather look ridiculous than angry. All right, you smoke the rest of my weed. You're welcome. 
Thank you. I should go. Do you have any more? Hey, uh, Mary, the kids are... <coughs> what the hell are you doing? It, it was his. Sorry, man. I tried staying away from the kids. Shit. I'm sorry. Thanks. You consistently arrive late to pick the kids up at school. You never pick up the dog poop in the yard like I ask you to. Maddie uses one of your birth control sleeves as a fake wallet, and teachers are complaining. Most nights, I come home and you're passed out on the couch while Ryan's watching TV on a school night. I need you moved out by this evening. I'll tell the kids it was an emergency. Where am I supposed to go? I can't have a druggie taking care of my children. I'm not a druggie. You got high with the birthday party clown at the birthday party. Hey, listen, I know it's probably not your first choice, but I am house sitting for the month. If you need a place to stay, you can crash with me for a night. You know, it's the least I can do. I mean, I get it. I know you're upset. And I can't help but feel somewhat responsible for that. But please just take this, and then, you know, if you need a place to stay, I'm sure you got other places to go, but please just take this. it make me feel a lot better. I'm sorry. I'm I must be in the wrong place. Honey, who is it? Mary. Hi. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, I tried calling. Uh yeah, well we've been kind of busy. Well, like I said, I tried calling. Something's come up and I just need a place to stay just for the night. Mary, it's been two years. I'd love to, but now's not the time. Okay. Hi. Hi. Wow. You can let me in. This is, uh... My friend Adam's place, he's away on location shooting his show, so, you know, respect the space. Does he like candy as much as you do? No. All right. Why don't you sleep upstairs and I'll crash here on the couch, okay? Let me grab you a towel. Morning. Hi. What are these? They're flyers Adam wants me to put up around the comedy community, all the comedy clubs. Why? It's for a comedy standoff he's doing. At least that's what he calls it. Basically, he's looking for new talent for his show. Is he related to Steven Spielberg? No. He changed his name when he moved out here. He thought he would open some doors for him. Did it? It did. Are you going to enter? No, it's not for me. You should. Get you the money you now owe me. Yeah, well, I used to like making people laugh, but that was a long time ago. 
If it hasn't happened by now, it's not going to happen. If it hasn't happened by now, you have to make it happen. Thank you, Tony Robbins. How much was last week's pay? Two thousand. You make two grand a week? No, but that's what I'm charging you. For the massive inconvenience and time it's going to take to get a new job. Okay, I can't afford that. Well, you should find a way you can. Look, if I had it, I would, okay? I told you, I feel bad. You're jobless and I get it's partially my fault. I have this place three more weeks. Stay if you want. Don't worry. I have plenty of friends who've offered me other options. Good. Listen. I know what you did. Okay? And I'm willing to help you. But before I can even begin this process, you must present proof that you're attending therapy. Excuse me? We must be certain that we are sending our clients emotionally stable candidates. You're nuts. You gotta get your behavioral issues in check. Smoking pot isn't a behavioral issue. I hope you don't mind. The door was open. I just need to stay here one more night. It's fine. So how did you find me? Craigslist. I'm here to use the first visits free if you're still doing that, which I hope you are because that's why I picked you. Yeah. So what brought you in today? The nanny agency won't send me out on any meetings and interviews unless I seek help for my behavioral issues. And what might those be? Well, I smoked pot at a 10-year-old's birthday party with a clown magician. He made me do it, and now I'm living with him while he house sits for his friend. And he's a total f slob. So that's why you're here, to uh, rectify your behavioral problems, to land another nanny job. Why do you want to be a nanny? Actually, I, I don't. I can't nanny anymore. I've done it for 10 years, and I look at those kids, and I feel nothing. Okay. Hello? Who is this? This is Homer's boss. Former boss, actually. I would like to speak with him. He's busy at the moment. What do you want? You can tell your boyfriend that he owes me $200 for his performance last weekend. You also owe me $500 on top of that for grievances and embarrassment. And you can tell him he's fired. What are you doing in there? You don't want to know. I have to talk to you. Well, can it wait? Nope. What is it? Your boss called. Well, what did he say? You owe him $700 and you're fired. And we're both homeless in three weeks, so can you please finish pooping? And then we can figure out a way how to make quick cash. Is that a yes? 
That was fast. Yeah, well, I thought you said you had other places to live. I do. I would just like the money you owe me before I leave. Garage sale. This is going well. You have to give it time. What's with the baseball bat? It was my dad's. He gave it to me when I was a kid. You won't be upset you're selling it? Unlikely. Does he live here? St. John's. That must be nice. Not that St. John's, he's sick. When's the last time you saw him? Six months. You should visit him. You should mind your own business. Can't avoid him forever. You said I was avoiding him. These are great. They're mostly my mom's. Mine are at the back. Yeah, why would you sell these? Because I need the money. And because she's dead, so I don't think she'll care. How much were the drawings? Fifty dollars. <laughs> I'll give you eight. I was on the internet the other night, and um, that's how you ever been on the internet, uh, like late at night. Hey man, and that's big how comedy you competition, you are huge really price. Alone because I wasn't even looking at porn. That's how you know it's over for you when you're not even looking at porn anymore. <laughs> porn bores you. You're just in this place where you're like, well, I guess there's nothing left to do but look up clips of break dancers and watch billiard trick shot videos, because knowing <laughs> random shit's the same as a personality. Hi, is my dad available? I'd like to say hi. Thanks. Okay, and you told him it was me? No, never mind, it's fine, thanks. You know, actually, tell him if uh, he keeps refusing my call, I'm going to stop calling one of these days. No, don't say that. It's fine, thanks. I'm so sorry about that. Won't you come in? been having a little bit of trouble finding a good fit for our M. Why's that? It's a difficult age. You probably remember what it was like. Tell me about your last job. The kids were great. I loved them, and they loved me. But they're in Europe now. Hmm. Mr. Frick and I do like our alone time, so there would be plenty of opportunity for the nanny to take Emma to our Palm Springs home. Sort of a girl's weekend. Does that sound like fun? Really fun. Are you interested in being considered for this position? Assuming that your previous employer can provide a good reference. Oh, can you? I'm trying to get you to hurry up. Betty Sue, honestly. Can I tell you something? You are, if I can be honest, you are getting me awfully hot and bothered, Betty Sue. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Well, then why don't you cool off? <laughs> <laughs> you may have won this one, but the war is not over, my friend. The war will never be over as long as you're alive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I, never, I don't like the way you do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen. Okay. Yeah, you want to throw down? Yeah, I'd like to. <laughs> I would like to. 
then I says to her, I says, honey, it's all right. We're going to work this whole thing Is this thing for out. real? She turns to me and this is your friend's but show? Peter, that's not my <sighs> it has its moments. What moments? This is awful. Well, this first show was better. Welcome to a new way to what is that? It's a Snickers sorbet milkshake. I added the sorbet to be healthier. I truly don't understand you. That's a really great color for you. What do you want? I need you to come to therapy with me tomorrow. Are you, you're serious? Like, I'm letting you stay here. You, you really want me to go to therapy with you tomorrow? Are you crazy? It's the only way they'll keep sending me out on job interviews. If I go to therapy with you? No, but I've already used my first visits free, and now we can use yours. The sooner I get a job, the sooner I'm gone. Admit you have nowhere else to go. You had to wear the shorts. When I wear jeans, my butt gets sweaty. Where is he? He was almost a half hour late the last time I was here. He was in the bathroom. Please, for a half please hour. stop talking. Mary, it's good to see you again. Oh, you're wearing glasses. Yeah. I like them. Thank you. This must be the uh, clown magician? Yes, this is Homer. Homer. The clown magician. And we are actually here together as a couple. So your first time is free. That would apply for him too, right? Because he's a new client. Yeah, uh, sure. I don't see why not. Excellent. Good. I thought Homer. we were to pay. Honey. Uh, what brought you in today? He's shy. He's shy. So I was thinking we could start with something with us and my stuff, and then he could see how it works. So I was, I had a plan. I was actually hoping we could figure actually, out. Actually, I'd like to get to know Homer a little better. It's okay, really. I mean, she seems determined. Then how does that make you feel? Her being determined? Mm-hmm. I don't Does it excite you? Does it inspire you? Are you a determined person, Homer? I don't know. I've never really seen myself as determined. What's stopping you? What's not? Mary, can we give Homer some, some space to answer the question? What do you think it would take for you to get off the couch, so to speak, and, and live in this determined life that's full of drive and passion? It seems like that would take a lot, and I don't even know where to start. But he is correct there. Take a lot, but you know what wouldn't take a lot? Figuring out how I'm going to get my next job so that we can actually continue our relationship, but from different places to live. You came here for couples therapy, and your goal is to live in separate uh, homes away from each other? I wouldn't use that word. Yes. What what word? Relationships or home? Mm. I'm just confused. You said you were a couple. I actually feel a little better. Thank you. Mm, I'm so glad. You seem to really like you. At least someone got help today. I know. I think you gave some really great advice. What, like get off your ass? Why do you want to be an architect? My mom was an architect. Well, she went to school to become an architect. And when I was little, I used to love losing myself in her designs. Does she work here in the city? What firm is she with? She works overseas. Oh. I used to collect all her old models, and I would add to them through the years. When nothing seemed to be going right, I would focus on creating this hypothetical beauty. I loved it. It was our shared passion. Sounds like it still is. I want a chance to bring beauty like that to life. Do you have some of your work with you? It burned. In a fire. Hmm. Can't seem to find your resume. 
Where'd you graduate from? I didn't graduate. I had to leave after the first semester. Are you okay? I'm fine. You look fine. I'm just having a hard time. I applied for a small internship at this architecture firm, and they turned me away because I didn't have a degree. Is that what you want to be, an architect? It's what I went to school for. But then my grandmother got sick, and I had to leave after the first semester. It's all I ever wanted to do. But at this point, it's kind of a joke. Why? Because it's never gonna happen. I thought you had to make it happen. Why don't you go back to school? With what money? to your Captain Crunch. I'm moving on. How'd you get my sketchbook? I bought it back from the guy. I could tell it meant a lot to you. Thanks. Um, I'm gonna enter the comedy competition. And if I win, I'm gonna split the money with you, but you need to promise you're gonna use that money to go back to school. You said it's not for you. I changed my mind. You're not even funny, are you? My nanny kids didn't seem to think so. Well, I mean, that's a different situation. Those kids obviously have issues. Have you ever done this before? Help me, and I'll split the money with you. If you win. Do we have a deal? Fine. Shake on it. You have to promise I won't make a fool out of myself. Actually, I think that's all comedy is. Just do that. <laughs> Maybe you should get on stage, that's funny. Right. So anyway, I'm talking to this guy, and, and I'm like, you can't even do your job. You can't even do your freaking job. Do your job. Why am I doing this? You have to practice. I don't have any good material yet. Just make something up. Oh, you're up. Okay, you can do this. Just say something. This was your idea. Practice. Go! <laughs> hey, everybody! Um... And you know how people, they have these, these the stupid sayings, like, we're gonna party till the cows come home. <laughs> really? You got cows living at your house? <laughs> Where do they sleep? Okay. Um, da, 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 da. I was hoping that I'd be the only one wearing a blue shirt, but a uh, fellow in the back's also wearing a blue shirt, so I guess this class has the blues. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Good night. Don't take ecstasy before you go to church. I like to fart on airplanes. I just celebrated my anniversary of not having a boyfriend. That's right, I'm single. Guys, calm down. <laughs> All right, I'll take numbers after the show. Uh, it's pretty awesome, though, being single. There are advantages. Like, I don't have to take the Domino's pizza sign off my car after work. 
When I wake up in the morning and the bed's wet, I know it's me. I can hit on my friends' husbands and their kids as long as they are 12 and over. 11 is just creepy. I went out with a 10-year-old. He didn't pay for anything. <laughs> so, I mean, then the, the joke's like, I don't know, it's kind of based around like how the Koreans run all the nail salons. Honey, I'm home. Wow, man, I, I thought you were coming home uh, like later tonight. Well, I was able to catch an earlier flight, actually. Who's this? This is Mary. Hi. Hi, Mary. Little Mary's making herself quite at home here, huh? The yeah. cereal and the feet up on the coffee table. Yeah. Uh, she's actually my life coach. You, you brought a life coach to come in and live with you? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was just temporary, man. I, w I was gonna call you. Yeah, you should have. But uh, I meant to call you about that earlier. Earlier? How, how long have you had a life coach for? Not long. Okay, well, look, as long as uh, there haven't been any life coach fluids exchanged between you two crazy kids all over my furniture, no, uh -huh. right? then that's, I'm fine with that, that's cool. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, no, she's, uh, she's not like that at mm -hmm. all. Hey, doggy. Um, yeah, no, she's a, she's a professional. Yeah? Hey, well, look, man, honestly, whoop, he likes you. I'm just really happy to hear that you're taking proactive steps to kind of get your life in order because uh, you're really starting to become a strain on everybody around you. So, um, you know, I'm glad. Where'd you get this? This is, is this cotton? Goodwill. It's Goodwill. It's nice, man. Goodwill. I don't actually want to know, but um, yeah, but you know, whether it's her or whoever, I'm just happy that you're back on the horse, dude. So, <laughs> seriously. But uh, I'm home now, right? The master's back in the castle, so you two can split. Okay, so thanks for playing. Namaste, Mary. Nice to meet you. Just clean that cereal bowl up when you're done. Whew. What is this? Look at all this. Hmm. Uh, actually, man, we're really close to finding a place. Oh, yeah? You and the life coach? Yeah, no, her name's Mary. Okay. We're, we just can't move in until the end of the month. I feel like three's kind of a crowd. Or it could be company. Huh? Sorry, you, that was a joke. You were joking? What'd you say? Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm sorry, my brain has been like so fried just because I've been working nonstop. Just been work, 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 work. It's been a hell of a... Bobby, not on the couch. Mary, you really got to make sure he's not on this, okay? This is a really nice couch. Wouldn't want to ruin it. He's got a sort of an unpredictable bladder, right? Look, if you guys don't mind looking after Bob and I don't know, if you guys want to split the couch or something, then yeah, you guys can stay. I mean, I can make that arrangement work. You know, I'm going to be working most nights anyway, and when I'm not, I'll be over at the yoga center doing my, um... Bikram. My Bikram, which yes, I love. Bikram. I like to sweat that out. So, uh, that's fine. That's okay with me. Yeah? Oh, good. Okay. Um, well... Th cool, man. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... Yeah, you won't even know we're here. That'd be perfect. Hey, would you mind fixing his, uh... Pulling his hat down over his eye? Yeah. My little dog, Tony Banderas. <laughs> Cute. Thank you. You didn't tell him about me. Well, I, I just told him right now. You told him I was your life coach. It's the best I can do. I bought us till the end of the month. To be his dog walker. I know how to handle him. Are you going to tell him you're entering the competition? <laughs> Take him out and talk to him. What? You want me to be your life coach? Fine. Take him out and talk to him. Say you need some insider information on the competition. You need all the help you can get. Trust me, I can handle this. You know what? I'm gonna go too. Uh, no, no. You won't even know I'm there. Okay, chill out, James Bond. We're not doing that. I'll figure out if he has it in for you or if you really stand a chance. No. I got this. Thanks for meeting me here, man. I know it's your first night back, but I was really hoping to get some advice. Well, you know how I feel about giving advice? It's like, who the hell am I to offer anybody advice? I'm just another hard-working American, just like the rest of us, doing my thing, working on my show, yeah. living the dream. No? Hey, how do you like Bobby? You know that I rescued him from this local shelter up where we were shooting? 
Cool. I only want to spend my time with him right now. It's like my new toy slash life partner lover thing. It's like this crazy thing. But I'm torn because, you know, work takes up so much of my time, so much of my mental energy. It sort of drains me emotionally in a way. But they told me that they were going to put him down. And I was like, I don't think I could even live with myself if I knew that that was happening. Or even if I was in the proximity of that happening. A dog that's cute. I mean, look at that face. How do you kill a face like that? Yeah, you man. let this thing die of natural causes. Little Fred Astaire bow tie, you like that? Cute. Yeah, he's great. Hey, did I tell you that uh, our show got nominated for a People's Choice Award? So that's pretty cool, right? No, you didn't. You didn't tell me that. Yeah. That's great. Congratulations. Thank man. you, man. Thank you. It's been a, it's been a long road. I mean, not really. You sold that show within a year of moving out here. No, that was who's in my bedroom. That's not my bra. It took some work. So what did you want to talk to me about, anyway? Well, actually, I was thinking about, about a life coach, Melanie. Her name is Mary. Mary, yeah. She's, she seems all right, by the way. I like her, you know? Hot little body. Nice. Had a red hair. Decent teeth. Yeah. Where'd you find her, by the way? Uh, I found her at Whole Foods. Whole Foods? Get out of here. You found a life coach at Whole Foods? Yeah, like on one of those, you know, cork boards. She had, like, a thing up. Okay. So, like a poster. Okay, and you just kind of pulled the tab? Yeah, I ripped her phone number off. Oh, uh, you ripped it, huh? Yeah, you did. She's actually been really helpful. She's inspired me to give comedy another try. Like, comedy? Comedy? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I... I just thought that we talked about this. No, we did it together when we were kids, and we kind of joked about doing it out here. We moved, and I got lucky. Well, combination lucky and extremely hard work. And life proved that it had other plans for you. You know those flyers you asked me to put up? Yeah, you did that, right? Did you hit the, um, the comedy barn? Because they have a lot of good, a lot of good newcomers there. Yeah, like I'm thinking get... about entering. Entering the comedy barn. No, you just, you can walk right through the front door. That's fine. The manager, Tommy, if you drop my name, if you say that Adam wants me to flyer this place, then I'm he thinking can about entering the contest. Your contest. I'm thinking about entering. I want to give comedy another shot. Uh, is this because of that girl, Melissa or Marnie or whatever? Her name is Mary. Okay, relax. She's pulling the strings on this. You know, because there's a lot of other ways to meet women, bro. You should come to yoga with me, honestly. You want to come to Bikram? Are you saying I can't do the competition? No, I'm not saying you can't do it. I just. I don't want you to get destroyed, you know, that's all. I mean, this is for like professionals with careers that are on the rise, sort of young up and comers kind of thing. I mean, didn't you develop like crippling stage fright? You know, I just don't want this to set you back. I mean, you might end up more depressed when you see the kind of talent that you'd be up against. Well, look, man, you know, I'm not your mom, so do whatever you want. I'm not gonna stop you, you know, do whatever you want. Okay. Cool, yeah. You got to, uh, oh, you got this? Okay. Awesome. Hey, what'd you want to talk to me about? That girl, uh, Mavis? What the hell is her name? I'll just have another matcha, please. You know how to handle him? Well, what the hell? You threw me off. He's an idiot. So now what? We win that fucking competition. Come on. Hey, Homer. Yo, Homer. Do you know any, like, funny guy next door types I might be able to use for an upcoming part of my show? It's kind of a major part, so I'd like to use someone really funny. Uh, and I would do it myself, but I don't know, it just feels weird this time. Do you know someone? Homer can do it. Huh? Sorry, what? Homer can play the part in your show. What part? Your friend. He needs a funny type. Why not you? Oh, I'm not an actor. Yeah, he's not really an actor. You know, he's got that terrible performance anxiety. And plus, this guy needs to be, like, funny. Well, Homer can do that. I've seen your stupid show, and he can do what those people are doing. Probably better. He's funny. You would know that if you were paying attention. Watch some of your high school videos. You guys have been watching my high school videos? I mean, she doesn't know what she's talking about. I just feel like you might be overstepping your life coach boundaries here, Mary. 
Okay, I'm not a life coach. I'm someone he got fired when he forced me to smoke pot at a 10 year old's birthday party. So, that's done. Not a life coach. Oh boy, oh boy, I feel betrayed, stunned, forsaken. So I've been housing you guys here under false pretenses. Is that what you're saying? That I've been exploited? My hospitality and my kindness has been exploited by a close friend and a not life coach. I have literally opened my door to you and my heart to you and my soul to you and you have squatted, taken down your pants and shat on that. You have shat on that trust. The two of you have collectively taken deep dark shits all over my trust. Plus smoking is bad for the lungs and honestly it causes the munchies and do you need to be munching? This is one thing that you should probably keep in mind before you take a toke. Okay, listen to me very closely. Here's what we're gonna do. The two of you assholes are gonna pack up your shit and get the F out of my H. Get out. Unbelievable. But thank you for watching my show. We need all the viewers we can get. Hey, and if you guys get bored, you can just rummage through some more of my deeply personal belongings. I think my passport and my goddamn social security card should be here somewhere. I'm too in shock to kill you. I told you I know how to handle him. You never told me you had performance anxiety. You saw my last gig. That was not a gig. That was an open mic night. You told me you were just out of practice from your high school days. Well, what are we going to do? starting today. I thought you said we were going to lunch. There's a flower shop on the first floor. Bring him some flowers. Are you serious? The man's impossible. I can't win with him. He's not a nice guy. Tell him if he tries any bullshit that he can't hurt you anymore. Trust me. He'll be glad you did when he's dead. We'll wait here, then we can get lunch. That was fast. Yep, all good. I'm sure he was happy to see you. here. 
Okay, give me another. I think shredded lettuce is funny. I don't see it. Like, you know when you go to a sandwich shop and they skip out on all the ingredients and then when it comes time for the lettuce, they just empty a dump truck full of it onto your sandwich. How's that not funny? I don't see it. It's not funny. I once yelled at a woman after I saved her life. I don't get it. Okay, I'll put that in the maybe column. Mm. I thought it was funny. I think if I explain it. Come on, next. Why am I doing this? He kicked us out. Anyone can enter. They're judges. Yeah, and what about stage fright? Take his annex. All right. It's awfully quiet up there. Maybe she's in her coffin. Will you go tell her dinner's ready? Emma, dinner's ready. Okay, will you go up there and tell her dinner's ready? Hey, it's time for dinner. Emma, it's time to eat. We're having pasta. What do you mean she's gone? The vampires have a way of sneaking around. This isn't funny. Look, trust me, she's going to turn up. She's going to turn up. She's going to turn up? What, is she going to turn up dead in the pool? All right. I'm fucked. Look, I'm sure she just realized she's not cool enough to hang out with us and decided to skip town for a bit. Skip town? Where, where would she skip town to? We're in a desert. What, did she hitchhike to the outlet mall at 9 o'clock at night? I have to call the police. Oh my god, I haven't even worked a full day. You realize no amount of therapy is going to help me get a nanny gig after this. Just close your eyes. I don't have time for this. Just do it. Close your eyes. Now I want you to realize something. You are getting paid. I haven't gotten paid yet. You are getting paid to stay in a really cool house in the desert with a fully stocked pantry and wet bar. Let the little vampire girl have her fun. She's probably just out hanging out with other private school vampires with second homes in the desert. She'll come back. Did, didn't you ever sneak out when your mom left town? No. My mom killed herself when I was too young to know what sneaking off was, and I liked my grandmother who raised me, so I never snuck off, unless it was to my room to read. It happened a long time ago. I survived. doing? Two dead and dying parents. That is twisted. And to a vampire free weekend in the sun. I'll have a vodka soda. Nice. I'll have a Malibu Coke. I should probably just check your ID. Nice. Thank you. Hey, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. What? Are you... Give me this. Holy shit, it's your 30th birthday. Which is a birthday just like any other birthday. Please keep it down. No, I will not keep it down. Hey, everyone, it's her birthday. If we could just all sing in the key of E. Uh, All right, okay, that's shit. enough. We're fine, really. <laughs> okay, thanks, just the drinks. No singing. Hey, attention, everyone. Yeah, turn up your hearing aids here. We have a special birthday lady in the house. Nope, she that's turned okay. 30, which is as young as some of your great great grandchildren. <laughs> that's not funny. It is funny. They can't hear me.
Why didn't you tell me it was your birthday? That's ridiculous. What do you want for your birthday? Is this thing on? <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, please <laughs> give it up for the one, the only, Homer Seinfeld. That's it. Chug that drink. All right. Yay! All right. Well, um, this is probably the worst birthday gift that you could ask for. <laughs> Palm Springs! Can you hear me, or do you need to turn up your hearing aids? <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, well, I have narcolepsy, uh, but only in one of my legs. It's always asleep, just walking around. <laughs> Why are you making me do this? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, growing up, my parents made me wear corduroy husky pants all the time. And as a fat kid, you know, you walk around, you just get this zip, 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 zip. So much, a lot of friction down in the leg area, like flames were bursting out of my pants. It's, I don't know why my parents let me do that. I mean, it was back in the 80s, back when child abuse was expected. <coughs> well, that was a cough. Not sure that was a laugh. I think that was a cough. I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> you did it! I did it! I did it at the geriatric bar of West Palm Springs. <laughs> Doesn't matter, you did it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. What were you like as a kid? No psychology, please. I'm just trying to have an adult conversation. Might get some good material out of it. It was fine, I guess. My mom died when I was 10. In the middle of her last year of architecture school. I'm sorry. I envy happy people. I don't know how they do it. My family has a grand tradition of succumbing to depression. And my mom followed in my grandfather's footsteps. My grandmother insisted that meds were the only way to beat it, which my mom refused to take. Do you take any medication? Yeah. I'm not proud of it. My grandmother used to say, if you had diabetes, you would take your insulin, right? I never bought it, though. I'm still convinced it's a choice. Then why are you depressed? thinks I should be back on meds. My dad came home to find me bleeding out in the bathtub my freshman year. He called an ambulance. That was the last time we talked about it. And Adam moved to our town the next year and we became friends. We were the class clowns. I was goofing off, getting into trouble, making people laugh. Laughing at ourselves. It was good to laugh again. Why is he such a douchebag? Adam or my dad? <laughs> <laughs> you should stop talking about shredded lettuce in your set and start talking about these people. Uh, people don't want to hear about that. You'd be surprised. It's not funny. Well, find a way to make it funny.
People can relate more than you think. Where's your mom in all this? Do you want a drink? Why not? <laughs> okay. Let's talk about your love life. What about it? Do you date? Nope. Not anymore. Nothing I love seems to last, so what's the point? A couple one-night stands every now and again helps pacify the itch. Everyone here is so depressed. If I married a depressed person, do you know how awful that would be? I would be so fucked up. Oh, you hear that, world? I am fine with my depressed spinsterhood. I am fine! Let's dance. Come on. Dance with me. Let's dance. You're naked. Who cares? Come on. Dance with me. Use the stick in the mud now, Mr. Seinfeld. You do realize my last name's not Seinfeld, right? Are you scared? What are we going to talk about last night? There's nothing to talk about. Wow, okay. I seem to remember you begging me to dance with you. It was a moment in time. We were drunk. We had fun, right? Right. I can't start something now, now or ever. I don't have my shit together. I'm miserable. And then you would be miserable, and then you would leave. I don't even have a job after today. I got, I got to, I got to find that kid. So that's it. Welcome back. You got some blood on your fangs. He doesn't mean it.
I'll walk the dog morning, noon, and night. One more week. Apologize. We're sorry. sorry. Yeah. You're lucky I'm a yogi. Do you want to rehearse tonight? I can't. Okay. You need to end with the funny part. <laughs> Ah, uh, the mechanics of joke telling. Yes, there you go. I need more, like, I just need better material, like, good stuff that, like, that baby dinosaur joke you have is hilarious. Like, I want more stuff. You like that one? I'll buy it off of you. I love it. Are you kidding? It's hilarious. I don't know. I just, I, there, needs, there needs to be more to it, more meat. It's great. Thank you. I mean that. I'm, well, not, just, I'm not just trying to sleep with you. I feel like you are. <laughs> And I will, by the way. Yes. Maybe. It just needs that one thing that hooks. Well, that's what you're here for. You're supposed to tell I'm me. I'm trying to find it. I need good jokes like you have, like that baby dinosaur joke is hysterical. It needs more of a punch. It needs a punch, Why don't you too. Pu punch the baby dinosaur? Oh. <laughs> All right, there, see, there, finally, you have a good idea. I don't know. I just, I just find shredded lettuce to be funny. <laughs> 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 Hi, uh, Homer, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, hey, this is Zoe. Zoe, this is Mary. Zoe's hilarious. She's in my class. We're uh, working on some new material. New material? Yeah. You can never have enough material. Ugh. Trying to get it good. I know, right? <laughs> That's right. Can I talk to you in the kitchen? One sec. Okay. Don't forget the one about the old couple. Oh, yes, thank you. It brings the house down. What's up? I thought we were going to work on your set tonight. We are. I thought you were going to be at work, so I invited Zoe over after class. It's not a big deal. Hey, Homer. One second. Are you jealous? Are you serious? Look, even if this were a thing, which it is not, you said Palm Springs was a one-time, let's forget our problems and escape thing. I did say that. So then what's the issue? The issue is there is some random girl sitting on the couch that I sleep on helping you with your set, which is partially mine. Your set. Okay. You asked me to help you. Please get her mm -hmm. out of here. No worries, kids. Uh, I got a yoga class to attend, so hold <laughs> on. Great work today. Yeah. You too. All right. Bye. You should introduce her to Adam. They can hit some great yoga positions together. Mm, I never pegged you for the jealous type. I'm not jealous. I just like to finish what we started, making it happen, something you don't seem to know much about. What the hell are you talking about? Whose idea was this in the first place? Are you upset that you fell into the one night stand category? Nope. For the record, it doesn't count unless you ask a girl to dinner. And you never asked me that, so it's past. Over. Let's rehearse. No. We had a deal. I don't care. I'll write you a check if I win. But I have to do my part. Your part. That's what you got to do. Did your mom not finishing architecture school send you on this fucking rampage where you got to make sure everyone you meet in life finishes what they start? Huh? Is that why you're so fucking bossy? What's the real issue here, Mary? Can't be the money. What's holding you back? At least my goal isn't to write for some base level crap of a sitcom. Yeah, well, maybe the real problem isn't that people leave you, so you fucking push them away. Why don't you grow some balls and actually go visit your father while he's still alive? At least you have one. And the bitter, passive-aggressive nanny is back. Hello, welcome back. I think it's time you handle your own shit. said you weren't doing too good and sorry I couldn't make it sooner.
I'm gonna do stand up tonight. There's gonna be a lot of people there. I'm kind of nervous. What are you gonna talk about? Um, well, I'm gonna start off with a bit about when you go to the uh, store. Remember that thing that used to always make mom laugh? No, no. <laughs> no, your mother, your mother never, never liked it when you tried to be funny. She, she said it made her anxious. I don't think mom said that. Isn't that what you said, Deirdre? Hmm? Mm. Mm. She came home right after you tried to kill yourself. What? As your mother came to the house and you were in the hospital, so I told her what you did. And that's when she left us for good. She couldn't bear to look at you lying there so pathetic. <laughs> very clearly the deadbeat brother, okay? Like, believe me when I tell you there's a taller, better looking version of me out there who knows how to access his bank statement electronically and has money in his account. All right, I, I am the Wayne, I am the Wayne to the Wonder Years Kevin Arnold, okay? <laughs> Preach, Mary. Shit. Okay, guys, give me your, your cards, your intro cards. Good, good, okay. Hey, where's yours? Come on, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not ready. Stage break? No, please, just let a few more go. Okay, great. people who got together to save the Hollywood sign to keep it from getting torn down. So they raised millions and millions of dollars to save this sign and they refer to themselves as activists. So I just imagine these activists talking with other activists who are doing real things like they are at a party and they're like, I just got back from Darfur where we provided a poor village with mosquito nets and the Hollywood activists are like, yeah, will you see that sign up there? You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, that's my time. Fantastic. Thank you. Oh my God, I love that Hollywood sign, though. But I love that sign. <laughs> right? Listen, guys. Oh my God, so good. Hard. Thank you. Kill it. All right. I want to thank you in general for... All right. Supporting. Okay. Because without you guys, that's not my bra, would not be what it is today, which is a bona fide international television sensation. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Right? Fantastic. Thank you guys so much. Give yourselves a round of applause for supporting me. <laughs> supporting me. <laughs> I love that Hollywood time. But he is a persistent little bugger, uh, and he weaseled his way in here somehow, so God bless him for that. Uh, okay, now, his credits include Comedy Central, yeah, okay, uh, HBO, that's a lie, it's a bold-faced lie, and the upcoming Bob Newhart tribute, which is definitely not upcoming, so thanks for that. Uh, please welcome to the stage my old high school friend, Homer, okay, Homer Cosby. Homer Cosby. Yeah. Oop. There you go. Come on. Yeah, he just needs a little bit of coaxing. Come on. <laughs> Good. Don't fuck this up, man. Don't be an ass, man. Namaste. Okay. Hilarious. <laughs> Hi. <clears throat> What's going on with shredded lettuce? 
you order a sandwich at a sandwich shop and they dump a truck full of shredded lettuce on your sandwich. Isn't that ridiculous? I don't know. Fuck it. My uh, dad just told me my mom left us because of me. That's so shitty, it's cliche. It's like, hey, Dad, did you, uh, did you not want to molest me, too? Or did you feel like that was bad parenting? <laughs> like, where's your limit? <laughs> help, help me out here. Uh, just as a group, if we could just all kind of stick together on this, when are we going to stop letting that one friend we all have treat us like shit? At what point do we say that's enough? Like, when I go to the post office, and I got the little claim slip, and I give it to the guy. And he gives me that look like he wants to kill me because now he's got to go do his job and go in the back and find my stupid package. When someone gives me that look, my response is usually, best friends forever. <laughs> like, I'm drawn to this. I don't know why. Why do I keep going back to that well? Because I think I just want what, what everyone else wants in life. I just want to be loved. And I want to love. I just want to feel like I belong to something and to someone. You know what I want is a montage. That's what I want, like a romantic movie montage for my life. Wouldn't that be great? It'd be so cool. Like I want to just like be in the park on a picnic and lay my head in her lap and I want to giggle. <laughs> like how adorable is that? Tell me you wouldn't make love to that. That's adorable. I want a montage. I want a, I want a montage of us buying t-shirts together and painting a house and Joseph Gordon-Levitt shows up and pats me on the back and tells me I'm kicking ass. And she's the one girl that's not attracted to him because she's attracted to me. <laughs> and I just want to say, in your face, Jojo. <laughs> that's what I would like. That would be great, a little montage. I almost had one, this close. I don't know if they exist, but it was, we were this close. I don't know what happened. It didn't turn out the way I thought it would. But who knows where we are now? I don't know. I'm here. She's, I don't know. Damn it, man. Just need to, need to grow a spine. Just to, like I got a weak, shitty spine. And I need to grow a new spine over the weak old, like just put it right there. The problem is I'm a little fatter now than when I first got my spine, so I'm sure this new spine is going to be too big. It's going to like cover the other one. It's going to like hang down. I'm gonna look, it's going to look like I have a tail or something. I don't know. That would, that would actually be kind of cool if you had a tail. Oh, my God, Jessica, I'm dating this great guy right now. He's so funny. He has great hair. He's loving and kind, and he giggles. What? That sounds perfect. Yeah, and he has a tail. A what? A tail? Like he's got a story? Like a backstory? Like a tail to tell? No, he's got a fucking tail. <laughs> like it, it hits me in the face. <laughs> Ew. Cut to me in the corner, just wagging my tail. Hi, I'll take a biscuit. <laughs> I was so depressed, I couldn't get off the couch. And someone once told me that, you know, two depressed people shouldn't end up together. They shouldn't. I said, why not? We could both be together. We could both grow new, excessive spines together. We could be happy. We could have tails. <laughs> Just each other. That would be great. Then, then we could have our montage. You know? Like, look, I get it. I'm not Matthew McConaughey, okay? It's not going to be a Matthew McConaughey montage. He has washboard abs. I have this. <laughs> I ate Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> hey, hilarious. Hilarious. Homer Cosby, ladies and germs. Homer Cosby here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Fun. That's fun. Okay. So you guys seem to like his uh, his material for the most part, huh? <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's cool. Not jealous. Listen, uh, that's going to be the end of our entertainment for the evening. I'm going to confirm.
Excuse me, do you have any snickered flavored lattes? I'm sorry? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Wow. I waited a long time to run into you. I went to the vampire's house. She said you weren't there. I think she was covering for you. She turned into a bat and flew away. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. How long you worked here? Six months. I'm actually saving up for classes. Really? Architecture school. Look at you. That's great. Excuse me. Can I order? Just one minute. I never got a chance to say thanks. It's okay. No, it's not. Thank you. What have you been up to? I'm working on my own show. Got my own place, my own dog. Hey, is there a manager or someone else that can take an order? Just want a coffee. Seriously, dude? Yeah, seriously. Seriously, I'm just, I'm in the middle of ordering. I will order in a moment. I should probably help him. Yeah, you're gonna get in trouble. I'm sorry. I should go too. Do you want a coffee? Yeah. All right. Good to see you. It's good to see you. Was that guy just some guy I knew for three weeks a long time ago well he left you a huge tip you're crazy we had a deal did you even win it doesn't matter just take the money. Go get your degree. It's not going to pay for all your schooling, but it'll help. I want to see your buildings populate this entire city. You got to make it happen, right? Thank you. You're welcome. 